um, there's something that I have to add to this review that I just noticed about the show. You haven't seen Scooby Snacks, and this just became the most predictable plot ever. And I went to the end, and I was right. Um, tell me if you can figure out what the end, the very end of this is going to be. And this episode has been done before successfully in previous shows. Um, and this is another way of doing it. Tell me if you can tell me if you can tell me successfully what they're inventing here based on this one clip. This is how predictable their show is. Why do I know you? Check out the words, no way. Wait for it. No well, there aren't Scooby Snacks. There's Sorcerer Snacks. I know it's right, waited out. Since you seem to really enjoy these things so much. I'll get closer. How about I give you each a snack at room? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Do you? No. Really? Yeah. Mr. Samson's right. We do anything for those. Would you really? Literally anything. Okay, do you see where this is going now? There's sorcerer snacks. They're not really sorcerer snacks. Anyone who's watched the show knows they're Scooby Snacks. So this is the origin of sorcerer snacks. I mean, Scooby Snacks. Come along, we have a oh boy. This is this is the origin. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you I give you Cartoon Network's version of the origin of Scooby Snacks. What did you do then? This is this is it. This is proof. This is proof positive that Cartoon Network has totally ruined Scooby Doo. They've, they've gone back in for the record. If you ever watch the original show, there is actually an episode where do the origin of Scooby Doo snacks or Scooby snacks. Uh, now they're totally rewriting that as well. They're, they've rewritten the characters. They've rewritten the story. The formula is the only thing that has stayed intact. I just wanted to add that little bit because I'm really sick of talking about this show. But that's it. Uh, all I can say is it's been a week of disappointment. I finally saw Norm of the North, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna dignify that with a review yet because I don't have to. Uh, just know it's a two out of eleven. I'm not gonna give it the one because just because you know, it did a decent job as a. It, it was a movie. I just can't give it a one. But Norman the North gets a two out of eleven. This this monstrosity right here is a five out of eleven. And you know, if you're, I I gotta tell you the truth. Um, if you're an original Scooby Doo, uh, what viewer, then you're gonna notice every difference that there is, and you're gonna notice every similarity and how it's presented differently. The characters really are the main issue, and I just can't stress enough how the characters are changed, and I'm going to point them out. The three main ones are these three. Scooby and Shaggy, amazingly, are still voiced by Matthew Lillard, the original voice. This guy is not Freddy Prince Jr., it's not the other guy who originally voiced him. He's an idiot, she's even more of an idiot, and yet, somehow, um somehow is always key to the plot pod. She isn't even captured as much as she used to. And and she is a know-it-all. Now, I get that they kind of went, f no, but not in a good way. They, they, they basically extremized the, the characters. They've, they've put all the characters to an... Switch back. They put all the characters at an extreme, they basically only saved the formula. I cannot recommend What's Up Scooby-Doo to any Scooby-Doo viewer, to any adult. Um, this is a kid's show. Adults will not find it funny. I do not find it funny. Except a hit or miss gag every now and again. It's just something on the DVR for me to watch. It's literally just that. 
Have I seen worse? Yes. The answer to that is Teen Titans Go. I will say that one more time. If I had to review this based on act structure, if I had to give this an actual cinematic critic review in one minute time, I would say that they set up a great act one, they give you literally no act two, there's no development, and the characters are poor, of course. Um, the plot really doesn't exist, it's just the old Scooby-Doo formula. It's, the outline's there, but there's no follow-through. And the Act 3 is always unsatisfying. So that really is, this time I'm done for real. Uh, that's all there is about what's up Scooby-Doo. I'd rather be watching what is new Scooby-Doo. Which, honestly, I don't think should have ended. That, that, they should have brought that back.